What's going on, my kitsunes? Each paper to retail fox boxy come back at you with a brand new episode of SimCity 4 Foxwell. And in today's brand new episode, we're finally going to be making the last preparations to start the simulation. Ten episodes in, and fittingly, we're starting the simulation. Kind of makes me curious as to what this region is going to look like once we hit the silver episode. And if you're wondering what the silver episode is, that would be episode 25 out here. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be fun out here. I mean, what's it even going to look like once we get... Will this series even make it to the golden episode? I'm not really sure, actually, now that I think about it. But being at the bronze is already pretty good, considering that usually I'll do a channel reset around four or five episodes into a series out here, or at least into what I've got on my plate. So, definitely getting better at uh, making sure everything gets... um done with maximum efficiency out here but yeah we are kind of like you know well that and not confusing resets obviously there are some situations that are all but out of my control like i don't know city skylines getting a major update tomorrow at the time of recording this or not city skylines city skylines 2 i should say getting a major update because dear god i'm already prepared to see the broken nature of that game it's gonna look like a gray still plays episode i'm already gonna say it I i'm just gonna say it right now but yeah kind of like you know waiting on that out here too but anyways we're getting the water pipes out here and i'm just gonna say it right here i'm just gonna say it right now don't ask okay don't ask how i managed to forget the water pipes don't ask how it happened because i i cannot really give you much of an answer out here but yeah can't really give you much of an answer and yes we are gonna add rail lines out here as well i actually considered making the railroad go diagonally but ultimately decided that that would be a pretty stupid idea so ultimately, I decided to mess around with the railroad going um, north-south as it gets closer to A70 because the um, red main routes are supposed to have railroads kind of like right next to them. It's one of the qualifications a um, major highway in Evarasia can go through before getting the red main tag. And A70 has that tag. And if you're wondering what those uh, other requirements are, because obviously I did mention the railroad out here, I'm going to give a refresher to anyone who is new to this series, which, by the way, if you're still here, Episode 1 is like right in a playlist out here ready for you to go once you're done watching this or you can just go right over there right now to not be confused as to what's going on. And also, yes, I did briefly forget about my canal again because I am not a very smart fox out here. And of course, the game was also um, really throwing every notification at me because again, we're starting the simulation today so it's being kind of a pain to work with here. So please bear with me. But yeah, it was kind of being a pain to work with out here, so I kind of had to um, get past all those stupid notifications. But yeah, I did forget the canal, but anyways, back to the um, red main route. So in order for a major route in Avarasia to earn the red main designation, it must meet four criteria. Four lanes with a grass median. It cannot have like a regular old turn lane or median or anything like that. And actually, throw the turn lane out the window entirely and replace it with exit lanes because the second requirement is controlled access. To put it bluntly, it's kind of got that. You know how here in the inter, here in the U.S. we have the interstate system, and some of you guys might have your own versions of it too in your own countries. Like for example, Autobahn Germany, Motorway UK out here, for example, just to name a couple of examples. I think Autoway is also a thing, or Auto Route is a thing in both Quebec and France out here. Just to, again, just to name a few examples. Yeah, same requirements here. So you actually need controlled access. And then in order to get the red main route, it also has to be told. And as I mentioned previously, it has to have an alternate transit mode available. And that is where the railroad comes into play. And yes, I did actually have to, f I had to fix one of the interchanges prior to this episode too. I can't remember if I did that or not. Uh, oh yeah, I, I remember now. I totally did. But yeah, you might've noticed it in episode nine, where I actually placed the um, interchange wrong. So it wasn't told. I mean, it could have been an easy pass only exit too. Actually, what would we call the um, pass for this um, toll road out here? Because it wouldn't be easy pass. I know Kitsune Island has nine pass because nine pass, nine tails, you know, stuff like that. I, I figured it would be like on brand out here too, but what kind of toll pass? What would we name the toll pass for um, FRSC out here? Could we call it Zor Pass or something like that? I don't know. I'll have to ask this question to a um, close friend of mine a little bit later because he is the one who kind of named this. So I, I feel like that would be the right move out here, actually. But yeah, obviously, it could have been a um, Zor Pass only exit, because I know those exist, particularly on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. There's one I remember that you can only get off at if you happen to be an Easy Pass holder. I think it's also boothless tolling as well, too. So yes, they'll freaking know if you have Easy Pass, by the way. And actually, there are boothless toll options for SimCity 4. I did find them on Centropolis, but they're not very good, unfortunately. I really want boothless tolling, because in real life, 
I think they're actually like switching a lot of toll booths out for boothless tolling because toll booths, not to be that guy, they're dangerous, okay? You're asking a car, like going at highway speeds, I might add, to stop and pay a toll before they get on the road. Or I guess in this case, get off the road. You get the idea. So, yeah. Really would kind of appreciate having a boothless tolling option for SimCity 4 out here, but all the ones right now really only use one-way roads, which kind of annoy me, actually. I want to see one that uses the real highway. I know I could just connect the real highway to a one-way road, but come on, where's the fun in that? Be realistic out here. I want to build my own Florida Turnpike, damn it. But anyways, right now, kind of expanding the industrial district to provide jobs for what are now 50,000 sims calling this place home. We already have 50,000 sims calling Foxwell home, which is actually wild. And I'm also continuously, if you're wondering why I'm going to look at the downtown consistently, I think I do it three or four times this episode. I'm basically checking on it to see what's actually developing there. The thumbnail itself will actually show what it looked like at the end of the episode. So yeah, that was definitely fun to work with out here. But starting the simulation, it took 10 episodes to get here, which is a little bit embarrassing. But at the same time, I wanted to make extra damn sure we were kind of ready to start the simulation. But right now what we're doing, as I said, is we're expanding the industrial district. You also may have noticed me put down the um, Coke factory and the Pepsi factory. Of course, you know, I'm going to damn well want the um, Coke factory to be producing that um, precious, precious Nilla. I got two cans of it on my desk right now. Almost three entire cases of it left out here. So I have pretty good supply already. Probably won't need to purchase any more for a long while. So that is good. I'm also trying to add an overpass to this highway. Even though there's probably going to be no exit ramp to it, I'm still going to add the overpass anyway because this is kind of where I want the... Um, well, I don't want to say I, I want the industrial district to stop here, but I do kind of want the airport to be nearby. And yes, I'm actually going to put an airport pretty close to the downtown out here too. Although, granted, there's really no other good spot to put it on the map that wouldn't give it access to like the sea routes or anything like that. It's supposed to be an international airport, and it's not too close to downtown to the point where I'd have to go through all the tall buildings that would basically, um... More likely than not, the airplanes would actually just fly around out here. Even before a certain event here in the U.S., we were not building our airports that close to downtown. So maybe we'll do it in a different spot. I'm not really sure. I, again, let me know in the comments below if um, the spot I'm thinking of is a good spot for the airport. Or if you think we should put it a little bit further away. Because I feel like it'd be more realistic if we put it further away. Again, even before a certain event. We were not building our airports that close to downtown city centers. Like, a pilot just had no excuse to be that low in that in that big of a city. But anyways, um, we're starting to come up to the end of this video out here, too. So I'm going to start doing my sign offs out here. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. And have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you may be.